Hey guys, welcome to Wednesday Night Live. Um, I need to zoom in a bit here. I apologize. I have a relatively new phone and I have not figured out how to do this beforehand. So close your eyes for just a second. We're going to zoom. Whee! There we go. And I have a pretty fun project we're going to do tonight. We're going to do a resin tray. So I'm going to go ahead and get this pulled up on my computer so I can see any comments. And then um, we'll get started. It's going to be a pretty fast project. Do not forget to hit thumbs up on your way in. And also for anyone watching this later on, a re on the replay, please realize that this is a live video. So the purpose of it is people can ask me questions and we can chit chat. So this is not just a straightforward tutorial. If that's what you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> All right, give me just a second, guys. Trying to pull it up on my phone, on my computer. Still not working. Come on. All right, well, I'll just start to tell you guys what we're going to do while I'm trying to get the video up on my computer. But um, we're using Stone Coat Countertops Resin. And I'm using some really fun products from Artists Till Death that I got from them a couple weeks ago. So you should definitely check that out. They have so many awesome pigments. Okay, I'm in. Hey, Tina. Hey, Veronica. Hey, Dan. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Paige. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Charlie. Burke Buns. <laughs> Betty. Mama Jan. Judy. Anna Marie. Jen. Emily. <laughs> I think I got everybody. Becky, well, okay, Linda, a lot of other people's coming in. Yay, Sarah. All right. Okay, good. So I'm going to first go ahead and mix up the resin. Getting some gloves on. And in last week's live, I think I kind of showed um, a tray that I had done. Now I had done it with a free form mold, but I actually found this silicone mold online. I still think I might like mine better because it's bigger. This is, seems really small. Um, okay. Resin. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the stone coat resin for the whole project. And this will be two parts. So you guys are just gonna see part one here, which is gonna be the fun part. A spider on my cup. Um, it's going to be the color, and then later on I'll put a uh, clear coat on it because this resin isn't meant to be super deep. All right. Um, Charlie, I haven't had time to do any of the paint nights recently, and I'm honestly not sure when I'm going to have some more time. But if I can fit one in next week, I will try. All right, I have zero clue how much resin fits in this thing, so that's okay. If I mix up a little too much, I could always find other projects later to use it in. All right. So this is not a resin mixing tutorial, but long story short, you use equal parts A and B, being resin and hardener. Always put the A on top of the B, except I did it backwards. <laughs> so I'm going to go now the other way. Oops. All right, while we're stirring, here we go. My favorite color, I don't know. I would actually have to say my favorite color is more like a maroon, <laughs> but I'm always ending up using blues and golds. Um, so the colors we're using tonight are white, and this is Passion Base Cell White um, from Color Passion. So like I said, from Artist Till Death. So actually, um, if one of my moderators can grab the Artist Till Death website link, that would be fantastic. And if you feel like grabbing their um, YouTube channel link as well, because they do tons of super cool videos showcasing all of their products. 
Um, you guys can send me pictures on my Facebook page, on Mixed Media Girl on Facebook, or on my Instagram. Veronica, are you able to grab a live link? I mean, that one's good too, but. Okay, and then Just Resin, this color is Midnight Violet. So this is probably my favorite color. It's super pretty. Like, a, basically it's a purple red. And then they have these new chameleon powders, which are basically like they're iridescent. So depending on what light you're using, they're different colors. And I'm using two, I'm using Bad Apple and Mistress of Evil. They come up with some of the best names. <laughs> yeah, so, and then, I got these killer gold flakes. I actually, I don't know if I added these to my Amazon store yet or not, but I will because these came in a, a three pack. So gold, copper, and silver. Um, and they're the coolest thing since sliced bread. I'm definitely gonna be doing some with the silver later, but you know me in gold. I wanted to go with gold again. Well, also I only have gold handles for now. <laughs> Actually, that's why I went with gold. I almost did silver tonight. I forgot. So I got to order some silver handles. And these things came in a big pack. These are like uh, dresser drawer handles or whatever. And they were quite cheap, actually. Pretty inexpensive. So I got a pack of them. And I already did the um, tray for my friend. And now I'm doing this tray, and I'll be doing another one next week. Hey, Jake. <laughs> um, I have not tried India ink with resin. So there's two ways you can do the handles, just based off of my research. I definitely tend to go for the faster, easier, lazier way, I guess. Um, so number one way is to just stick it in the resin. Now you don't want to stick it in there when it's totally wet. So you would wait a few hours and then come back. Um, and then the other way is to just drill it underneath like normal. You can make silicone molds of them make glitter handles with resin. Well, that's an idea. <laughs> that's an idea. All right, getting the resin all mixed up needs couple minutes and this is going to be a pretty fast project okay also while I'm mixing uh, we're gonna do a super chat giveaway tonight so anyone that donates anything via super chat PayPal um, or super sticker I'll mix for you guys here <laughs> um, I'm gonna give away two killer resin um, bookmarks that I made they're blue and gold and those will go to just one person will get two bookmarks and the winner will be announced tomorrow so if anyone wants to super chat it up it always helps every little bit helps all right i'm obviously going to get the handles out of the way oh you know what i forgot <laughs> i'm just going to do some matching coasters i might not have mixed up enough, enough resin for the coasters but um, I think I have enough to do at least two. The good thing about these is that you can put in the color and then you can come back later and do a clear layer. So even if you don't have a lot, it's not a big deal. All right, all right, all right, here we go. So for most of these, I just need a tiny bit. Hey, Trisha. So I'm gonna have Gonna use these little cups. Yeah. And I will have I'll be using clear in here too. So actually I think I can only use these small ones. Alright, this is one of the chameleon powders. Another chameleon powder. It's hard to open these things with gloves on. Just a smidge of each. For anyone who's just tuning in, um, actually all the colors I'm using tonight are from Artist Till Death. The gold flakes I got on Amazon, which if those are not in my Amazon store, I really apologize. I will 
Make sure it gets in my Amazon store later. And my preferred, oh, I don't know why I have these cups. Thank you, Becky. My preferred resin is Stone Coat Countertops. And good news, I did just get an affiliate link. So let me grab that for you guys so you can check it out. One second. Try not to resin my computer. So this is my special link that basically tells them that I referred you. And I've been using it for years and they haven't really had the affiliate program. So now they do and it's exciting. All right. Oh my gosh, this color is so pretty. Okay, and then I don't need a lot of the white. So just a little bit of white. Yeah, I love Stone Coat countertops. I mean, not only do I love them as a company, because they're amazing, but they have products for everything you could possibly need to do with resin. Whether you need to remodel a whole kitchen or you like doing resin art, whatever it is, they got gotcha. you. Thank you, Sarah. Or if you're doing molds or river tables. And Jake is helping me um, with kind of everything with my business right now. So hopefully in the not too distant future, I'll actually have some form of a, a warehouse or shop to do some bigger projects. We shall see. I'm pretty evenly dividing these colors. Okay, and then I need the flakes, the flakes. So I'm gonna use a bigger cup for the flakes. The white is, um, this is Color Passion, and it's called Passion Base Cell White. And I have heard it can give you amazing cells in resin. We're not going for that in this project, necessarily, but definitely more videos coming up with these. All right, so with these flakes, they are so lightweight that you open it and they fly around. I initially thought that it would be best to actually like sprinkle them in the resin, but then I tried them, tried actually stirring them in the resin and that worked really well. I'm leaving a bit of clear behind. So I am gonna open it off to the side though, away from the other resin cups because I don't want it getting in there. I actually did this outside the last time I did it. Well, hopefully I don't just cover my studio with gold. And this canister, like a little bit goes a long way. So this is gonna last me like the rest of my life, pretty much. Okay. So I'll show you how easily this mix into resin. Look how cool that is. And then it just is suspended. So you don't have to worry about using too much really. It's kind of like a glitter. It's not actually mixing into the resin, it's just suspended in it. And there you have the gold flakes. It makes it super easy to use with resin. All right, mix these colors all up. Okay. Thank you, Judy and Veronica and everybody. Yeah, Artists Till Death, they, first of all, on their channel, they demonstrate everything with resin and other things too. Like Jeff does uh, airbrushing and all kinds of stuff. And on their website, they have like every pigment you could imagine. They also do sell... They sell the Stone Coat Countertops epoxy as well. Um, but like for pigments and stuff, man, they have they have it all. All right, I think we're good. So I'm gonna start with the colors and I'm going to kind of go a bit diagonally. Hope that I miss, mixed up enough resin here. We will find out real quick. As long as I can get a good bottom layer, I'll be okay with that. Okay. Some of the white. Oh, 
and then this is the lighter chameleon powder like the pearl okay, i'm going to start with that and i'm going to get in there with the gold i'm going to add some more resin to this the flakes i think it's I put a little too much flakes in there, and I hardly put any. Okay. So this is going to be see-through, and obviously you'll see those gold flakes. So I want the colors to merge, but I'm kind of pouring in between them. And yeah, I'm not going to have enough resin to do any of the coasters. Darn it. Okay. Mental note for next time. <laughs> Whoops. I totally forgot that I planned on doing those too. <laughs> oh, well. I do still have a little clear. I'm thinking I want to go a little more crazy on this color, the Midnight Violet. So I'm going to pour some more of the clear in there. Thank you, Deanne. Yeah, guys, every, every little bit helps. And I'm trying to help out as many other people as possible right now, too. <laughs> I don't think I need to add any more color to this. It was already pretty intense. So I'm just expanding a couple sections. As I always, always say, there's no right or wrong way. Um, one other note on this is if you want a color to be maybe more like prominent or something or make to make lines that really stay let your resin cure for a bit you know let it cure for a couple hours and come back in and then you can actually use your stick to make lines that will really stay as you put them in there so that's just kind of a pro tip And you can, of course, layer and layer and layer. You could do, come back and do a whole nother layer, adding more depth. I love those gold flakes too. When I used them in that project for my friend, I was like, oh, <laughs> that's my new favorite thing. And I'm really liking these colors together. Has anyone noticed I've been on a bit of a warm color kick recently? <laughs> I noticed. Yeah, this is coming out so beautifully. I'm very happy. A bit more here. At this stage, I'm just using up the rest of my colors. I keep the white for last because I kind of like that to use that to accent some lines and stuff. Let's use the rest of the chameleon colors. And this one, I don't know exactly what the like iridescent color is per se, but it seems to be warm. So it seems to be like a pink or a red. So it does go well with this color combination too. All right, we just have the white. I'm going to go ahead and manually fill in some spots here. Actually, I think that was the only one. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I've been on a pink kick. It is your fault, Tina. 
Yeah, so this mold I bought on Etsy. And but you can make your own um, outline. I'll show you the other tray that I did that I still haven't quite finished yet, but you you can get what I mean. Um, so you can do your own. You can make your own any shape and size that you want. And that's my only thing with this is that it's a bit small. So it's not as practical, at least to me. Is the other one is. See, like on the white, I might actually wait for it to cure for a couple hours and come back in and put some more prominent lines, but probably won't happen because I'll get busy and forget. But it's something that you could easily do. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, you have a little tea party. It definitely looks really good when you do the matching coasters as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that other one to show you guys. Got to be careful because it's for clients. And I'll bring over, I did matching coasters also. I'm only going to bring over two of them to show you. And you can see the size difference also. So here's the other one that I made. <laughs> Watch me drop it in there. And here's two of the coasters, the matching coasters. You can see the size difference there. Yeah, it's a lot bigger. And this one, so I just, I'm gonna be sanding the sides down and then I'm gonna be putting the liquid gilding on the sides. So there's that one. It's uh, I think like 17 inches long. And this one's like 14 inches or something like that. Okay, now with silicone molds, you don't want to use a torch, but we still need to get rid of the air bubbles. So I'm gonna use my heat gun. Yeah. Spiders, go away. Shoo. Okay. And I will do a close up, because I know there's that glare there. Uh, the bigger one is not over plexiglass. If you hold on just a second, I didn't have a bigger mold, Heather. I made it myself with um, silicone. Like I made my own, um, you know how I've made molds before for the, the coasters and stuff? You just put silicone on some plastic. I made it just like that. I'm going to get the link for this mold for you guys though. Although, you know, I'm not totally decided if I like it or not yet. We'll see. Let's see, how do I get to there? My orders, purchases, there we go. And this was the biggest one that I could find. Oh. Ah, goodness me, hold on. I'm gonna just grab this link and then I'll show you guys the close up here. There it is. Okay. I did not do a video on the bigger one, no. Honestly, because it was like my first time doing anything like that. So I was like, in case I mess it up. <laughs> Although I really should video everything. But sometimes I just, it's easier to relax about it if that makes sense all right close-up time okay camera's gonna shake for just a second close your eyes Ooh. okay it's 
so cool. So I still have, I can see a little bit of air bubbles still. So I'll have to come back and heat gun it a little bit later. It is also super hot in here. So I love the way the color is actually moving around some of the gold pieces. And I don't know if you can tell, but so some of the gold is still sticking up, which is also one of the reasons that I do this in two layers, because it's pretty much impossible to get that fully covered on the first layer. So it's much, much easier to come back and just do a clear layer over it. Yeah, so on this, basically, I will be waiting. Where did I put those handles? Um, I'll be waiting for about four hours just for this to kind of, maybe even less though because it's so hot. So maybe a couple hours just for it to not be as liquid. And then I'll stick the handles in there. And then they'll be in there when the next layer of resin goes on. Yep, let's review colors real quick. So these are chameleon powders from Artist Till Death. One is Bad Apple, one is Mistress of Evil. And then we have Midnight Violet from Just Resin, also from Artist Till Death. And then we have Color Passion, Passion Base Cell White. And we're using Stone Coat Countertops, Countertop Epoxy, and then some gold flakes. Those flakes worked awesome, didn't they, guys? Like, that is such a cool find. I'm so happy I got those. And then I have the silver ones and the copper ones. Um, I'm not going to be coming back to show you sticking in the handles, unfortunately. I'm going to basically be out of the house for the rest of the night. Um, but it is it is really as simple as it sounds. Let me just try to get rid of the glare on this a little without moving it too much. It's kind of, the silicone stuck to the silicone. <laughs> it doesn't want to move. Um, I don't know the mold dimensions, it, but if you click on the link uh, that I put in there just a second ago for Etsy, it has the dimensions right on it. How did that glare get bigger? <laughs> well, that's a little better. <laughs> uh, okay. So... Let me figure out, okay, here's the handles. And it's literally gonna be just, they're gonna go in right like this. I could probably even put them in now, but since I'm not gonna be here to monitor them and make sure they don't fall over, it's best to wait until the resin has hardened a little bit and is in the really sticky phase. But that's literally all, that's all there is to it. It's not any more complicated than that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna reiterate for anyone who tuned in late, um, we are doing a super chat or PayPal donation giveaway tonight. So donate any amount and you will be entered to win these two resin bookmarks that I made that are blue and gold. And winner will be announced tomorrow. If you're watching this later, you can always donate via PayPal and still be entered. Just has to be by the end of the night. I'm gonna heat gun this one more time and then I'm gonna run out of here. Woo, I got two dislikes. Whoop, whoop. Don't forget to thumbs up if you haven't yet. <laughs> You can always send me pictures or ask some questions. I'm not always the best with responding right away, but I really, really, really do my best. Aw, oh, thank you, Marius. You guys are truly amazing. Um, so next week, I plan to possibly, it's not a 100%, but possibly resin this big piece we did a couple weeks ago. Can't stick it fully in frame, but hopefully you guys know which one this is. 
the one that I did with Johnny. So that's the plan for next Wednesday. We shall see. I might come up with something else, but I don't know. Ah, oh, thank you, RSD teacher. Okay, guys. So have a fantastic rest of your week. Be good. Make awesome art. And I will see you next time.